Hi, Meredith. Yes, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, Buzz Aldrin Middle School, which is the school behind me, won't be hosting kids in class. That's because it's going to be a polling site, so it's sort of going to participate in the democratic process here. If you voted early, you can just sit back with a bag of popcorn tomorrow. If not, here's what you need to know. I'll vote first thing tomorrow morning. I'm a traditionalist if I can. Uh, if I was away or if I was sick, I might vote otherwise, but I like to vote on Election Day. For all the talk of voting early in the tri-state, and there has been a lot of it, there are still millions who are choosing to vote tomorrow. I know it's important to early vote, and but I, I, there's something about going on the actual day and putting, you know, the ballot in the box that I enjoy. I'm probably going to go around 9. I don't think there's going to be very big lines at that point. So what can you expect when the polls open? For starters, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut all open at the same time, 6 a.m. But New York gives you an extra hour on the back end, closing at 9 p.m. You won't need a government ID for New York, but they also don't allow same-day voter registration. New Jersey's pretty similar, except polls close at 8. You will need a government ID for Connecticut, and it's the only state of the bunch to allow same-day registration. So how do you get around the need for an ID? It's simple. The signature is the key to the ballot. Uh, we have had instances, uh, and we have in every election, where a voter is challenged by the poll workers. If your signature doesn't match, they will challenge you. It's part of the law. It's the way uh, that uh, we make sure that people aren't voting when they're not supposed to. Also, important to know, as long as you're in line by closing time, you cannot be turned away. More people voted early in person than voted by mail this year. All told, between mail and the early vote, we have over 2 million people vote in New Jersey already before Election Day. We'll probably see about 4 million tomorrow, give or take. Uh, 2 million have already voted leading up to tomorrow. One more thing about the ballots. Those mail-in ballots must be postmarked or dropped into a secure site by the time the polls close in your state tomorrow. You are entitled to a provisional ballot if they can't find your name on the voter rolls. All you have to do is ask. And a friendly reminder when you're coming out to vote, you can't wear or promote any sort of candidate merch when you go to vote. They will either ask you to leave or ask you to take it off. So leave all of your campaign hats and stuff at home. That's the latest from Montclair, New Jersey tonight. Steve and Natasha, back to both of you. All right.